weeks, students will be moving into the dorms at UNO and commuters will be getting ready for the new semester. One of the big questions heading into the new school year, will the lack of parking be an issue yet again? Reporter Megan Stewart went to campus today and is live with some answers. Megan? Craig and Jen, there's not a lot of cars parked at UNO right now, but in just a couple of weeks when school starts, like Craig said, all of this will be packed. I used to park there and take the shuttle from there to uh, campus. It's no secret parking at the University of Nebraska at Omaha isn't the easiest. For Dolita Frederick, that means parking at Baxter Arena and taking a shuttle to the Dodge campus. And soon, it'll be at its worst. We're doing all these events to try and get the students excited to be here and be back. So we usually see the heaviest traffic and the heaviest parking needs those first two weeks. As things start to settle down, it does relax a little bit more. But officials are hoping students notice a difference. This year, the university has taken several steps to alleviate some of those parking problems, including this new parking garage on the South Campus. It adds a whole lot more parking on campus. We've got 1,224 stalls that are in this garage. Um, we have some stalls that are dedicated to the new residence hall that's going in, but the rest of it will be open for any commuters, faculty, staff, or students. Parking permits will also look a little different. I don't normally park here in the parking lot. I don't have a parking pass yet, but I know they just revamped the whole system, so I'm going to consider it. UNO is switching to digital permits, which should give students more flexibility. We can offer them a daily permit, an hourly permit. Students say they're hopeful the changes will help when they go back to school. It starts on the 21st, so I'm looking forward to it. And even some more changes being made are include the shuttle service, which they have changed to make a little more efficient and able to serve more students. Reporting live at UNO, Megan Stewart, 3 News Now. Guess